Setting up an offer in TrackDrive to be a lead to call automation offer is quite simple. I'm going to come into an offer that we already have running for inbound calls. And our health insurance calls here. And I'm going to set this up so it can also do lead to call automation. Now keep in mind, all offers in TrackDriver are going to handle the inbound calls and route them to your buyers. So the lead to call automation is just supplementing your inbound calls. And if you're only doing outbound dials, of course, you'll still have inbound calls. So our system is going to pace based on what you have going on. So the first thing I'm going to set up here is I'm going to set it up a second greeting for when the call is dialing outbound because my original greeting was saying thank you for calling and obviously I'm calling them so I'm not going to say thank you for calling so this greeting simply says uh, we're calling you in regards to your health situation press 1 to connect to an agent press 9 to be removed so in this situation I'm going to go ahead and, and, and document this here for you and then order matters so when the call starts if this was first it'd play this audio which is our inbound greeting so I simply need to move that up so that my outbound greeting will be considered on outbound calls and if it's not outbound it will play our normal inbound greeting. The other thing I need to do is now this new greeting has a key press for press 9. So we're going to remove the person from our schedule. Now we could block them if they press 9, it's up to you, but I'm just simply clicking remove from schedule if they press 9. So now we have the two things we need set up for when we're getting inbound calls we'll just go ahead and play a different audio for outbound calls a different audio and then we'll route to our five buyers here now here's the fun part of the system it's your setup lead to call automation now just by pressing that button it does indeed create a schedule under schedules here but we also include them inside the offer so the first thing I'm going to do is go to my lead to call options and I've already set up a pool that I'm going to fill with local uh, phone numbers be my health SMS ready pool and I prefer to go ahead and have the same pool do both texting and calling but they could be separate pools and maybe here I put in my health insurance because that is how we branded ourselves and then I'm the only thing to do they're live leads so I don't need to skip the DNC and then I'm gonna say that I'll put people on uh, I'll stop dialing when someone ends up in the hold queue perhaps I get too many people inbound dialing. Alrighty, so now we just have to go over how we turn these leads into phone calls. So I'm going to set up a typical situation here where the first thing I'm going to do is send them a text message. And in that text message I'm going to say something like, you know, thank you for all you've done and we're going to be calling you from this number for example. Okay, and then I do tell that to wait for daylight because I might have got the lead in the middle of the night. So I'm going to say wait for daylight. I'm also going to wait for a buyer because I'm a lead aggregator. So I don't want to call the consumer if no, none of the buyers that could take that call based on their geo or whatever well, might not be able to take the call. And then we have our make sure the buyer can convert because I'm an aggregator. So if the only buyer open has already paid me for the call, I'm going to wait until another buyer comes open and call for that buyer. All right. So that's going to be, we're not going to send a text message. And the other thing we do here is I really like Mailgun. So I'm going to come in here and say that it's, you know, from richardtrackdrive.net. Rich Nolan. And then email here. I'm sorry, my auto populate stepped on this. And then this was first name, space, last name. Or I could just do first name if I wanted. But we're putting in these tokens here to automatically replace what we're going to say to them. So I'm going to pick from my mailgun domains and then my subject line I'm going to go ahead and put in like this and you can't put in uh, token replacements like thank you John for your interest and in, you know you can put in the first name replacements there. Then here in the body this is just a WYSIWYG editor and I have set up some HTML for this demo so I'm going to switch to source mode copy of my code paste it here switch back to source and now I have my little email here that I'm trying to send out to people about their uh, health insurance and thank you for filling this out. So this tells them where to call in and tap a button and all those things to get through. So I'm also going to say wait for daylight and a buyer and all that stuff just to be consistent. 
So that's just to thank them when they fill that out. Now, I don't have to wait for daytime or available buyer to send the text message or the emails, but I like to do it so they get kind of a, a reminder there just before we're about to call them. Then the fun part comes. So we're going to place a call to the consumer. And usually when we place a call, we do decrease the lead priority so that the as a lead gets older, it's not as important as leads that are just coming in or have a higher priority. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then a nice little trick is to wait 30 seconds and then call again. And then you're going to start slowing down a little bit, wait uh, maybe an hour, and then call again, and then wait maybe two hours now. and call again. Now the, the system is going to stop dialing when you tell it to. Um, maybe if there's agents on the line, the dispositions do that. But normally we're going to come in here when the schedule, when should the schedule end? We'll say, if we connect to a buyer, stop nurturing. Okay, and so we're going to say when the buyer connects with the lead, we'll stop. So no matter when it, this actually gets through to a buyer, it's going to stop dialing and we'll be fine. But we'll typically would have some more actions like wait until tomorrow. So we'll wait till the time of day. We'll do tomorrow. And then we'll you know start our process at 9 a.m. And then maybe I like to send another mailgun email out, kind of like a drip campaign. So we started off with thank you. And then typically every time I wait until the next day, I'll go ahead and tell the system to send an email to stay in front of them all the time and then I'll start our calls to them again. So you can take this as far as you want to go. It's pretty simple here. Now we do have the same end of schedule actions, but usually that's something like, oh, okay, um, they said they were also interested in another product. So this is health insurance, but they also said they're interested in um, insurance for their car or something. I might say, hey, if, if they were also interested in insurance for the car, uh, let's add them to another schedule and add them, I don't have it, but add them to a, a automotive schedule to call them about their automobile. Um, so you can do all kinds of things at the end of schedule. Many times it's something to do with the status of the lead, posting back to another system or, or whatnot. But that is how easy it is in Track Drive to set up a lead to call automation so that you can just get your leads in Track Drive either by post or via a file upload and it will just automatically start calling your leads and getting them on the phone for you.